now got to start on a 15 and a half hour journey to uh, Finally, here we are. Oh, it looks quite nice. Oh, look at the fish. Whoa, look at that. Look at the big boy. All right, it's not bad. Oh, 20 pound a night, this, isn't it? Oh, it's not bad at all. Got a desk. Bed feels right to me. Oh, yeah, fine. Right, this is a good spot. It's 35 degrees today, man. I knew it felt hot. on a crabby beach and you walk all the way down to the left you'll find the monkey trail there's a lot of monkeys at the start of monkey trail not really any along it after that it's just like a long walk along the mountainside it's, it's quite nice but there's not really many more monkeys if you want to see the monkeys just they're at the start waiting to be fed unfortunately there's kayak hire on the main beach as well and that costs there's also quite a lot of massage places along this, uh, along the front here as well. This one here is a little more expensive than the one down the road. Quite, looks quite relaxing though. Maybe I'm gonna get one a bit later on. Ah, the reason the massages were so expensive back there is because this is actually a resort. The Centara Beach Resort and Spa. You could probably pay for a sunbed and to use the pool in there and everything. Um, but yeah, the massage is a little bit more expensive in there. Just outside here, they're definitely cheaper. Yeah, the beach clubs and that down here look quite nice if that's your jam. It uh, does look pretty good. But it's even more expensive to get your uh, transfers and that from here. So if you're gonna do anything, make sure you do it outside the resort on the streets, you get a way better deal. Just outside. These are the sort of prices you're looking at out here. And that's uh, pretty much the same prices as just down the road there too. All right, we just had two uh, two head and neck massages. 200 baht per person, it's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, it was so nice. Very relaxing, yeah, it was good. I had Definitely. a headache last night as well, so it was well needed, I think. Yeah, recommend getting one of them while you're here. 200 baht, half an hour as well, but it was a long time. It felt a lot longer than you, than you um, it was a lot longer than you imagined too. It felt like it went on for ages, is what I'm trying to say. Little laneways through here as well. Absolutely everything is way more expensive along the beachfront here as well. If you need to get anything like, well, the clothes have actually not been too bad, have they? If you need to get boat transfers out or uh, food or massage or anything like that, it's all cheaper the further around the road, up the up the hill, away from the seafront. On the seafront here, obviously, everything's a little bit more expensive. Um, even, even everything down to transfers to different areas of Thailand. So if you want to book all that stuff, just get, get yourself up the, go up the road a little bit and you save yourself some bar for sure. And we've stumbled upon a little market, right around in between the two beaches. Like this is a pretty good example of what I do, <clears throat> what we like to do. So on the main street, everywhere is like 120 baht minimum for a, for a pad thai or a meal, and it's like goes up from there basically, right? But then you come off the main street just a little bit and you've got little gems like this. They like 20, 20, 30 baht each. There's so much chicken on them. They're actually well heavy and they taste good as well. Mostly everything here is 60 to 80 baht and it's really nice food. This is what I'm saying by, like, yeah, being tired, but finding something that's good quality and, and, and like more affordable, especially when you've got to travel for six months. That's very good chicken. This place is sick, man. See, this is what I'm talking about little gems. Finding little gems like this, a little bit out of the way, nice local food, love it. 
we are getting a mango shake for 50 baht freshly made 50 baht and we pay with a thousand so she's not gonna like us very much <laughs> We found a supermarket, but it's like a Marks and Spencer's. We need more like an Asda. Right, so we're getting this bike. Um, 125 cc from ZZ House in Aonang. Um, they're charging 200 baht for a day. Now when you come to Krabby, you've got to go to the night markets. That's what I've been told. So here I am. This is definitely the biggest market we've been to since we left home. There's everything here, everything. It's, it's a really good marketplace actually. I'm, uh, I'm pretty surprised really. Wasn't expecting it to be this large. I think it's a bit pop up like the other place. I am so overwhelmed. <laughs> We do oh. this all the time. There's, if there's too much going on, we just do laps of the of the night market, and then we end up just getting pad thai. <laughs> yeah, it's not wrong. <laughs> The night market here in Krabby is awesome. It is good fun. You can even do, if you want, you can pay 250 baht and you can do a night market tour. Don't really know what it entails. Probably just walks around, tells you all the different stuff that's here. But you might actually need it because it's huge here. Good morning, everybody. We're off to Klong Root today. It's uh, like a mangrove area, lake area, where you can go and hire a kayak for 300 baht and you get it for the whole day. Apparently there's a really nice park nearby too. So uh, we're gonna go and relax there as well. They got goats. Just a little FYI as well. They have got a food place right outside. Apparently it's nice food, so they say in this cafe. There is a cafe across the road. It only does drinks. But if you want food, you've got to go to the little little place over there. Apparently, apparently it's good food, she says. Um, I don't know why, but they have these birds in cages everywhere. Pretty weird. So I decided to put all our stuff in a wet bag. And they've got a luggage compartment on these by the looks of it, so perfect. 
is a pain in the ass otherwise. Whoa. Size of the fish in there. Come on Nat, take us. Take us to where we must be. Yeah, this place, you need to follow the yellow balls, otherwise you're going to get stuck on all the routes and it's not going to be fun. So we're following the yellow balls, but they're actually a little bit difficult for Nat to find sometimes. <laughs> you're the navigator. I'm the power. I'm relaxing. I don't want me to burn out too early. I'm not very well. Yellow balls there. Right. Oh, what have you done? We're fully on there. Hold on, because we could actually capsize off this. How did you do that? Just went straight onto it. I mean, I'm not being funny. The, the yellow balls are right there. You're going to have to jump out. No, I am not. Just keep doing that, it's working. Keep going and we'll just do 360s around it the whole time we're here. I suppose I'm going to have to put the camera away and uh, show you how it's done. Right, you really have got to watch the uh, yellow bubbles as you go around. It's a weird experience, this one. It's quite fun. You just need a good navigator. Look, I'm doing it all on my own. Not only, they've got to see the ball in the first place. Oh, see, nearly got stuck again. Now, this the problem is, my navigator's not even seeing the bubble in the first place. Listen, your navigator's having to fucking do it all on her own. No, no. Look at you. You're literally lying down, chilling, and then you're having a go at me for not doing it properly. Oh, there's a duck over there. No help from you whatsoever. Oh, mate. Oh. Cough. Try and get some cool shots for the, for the boys and girls at home. Like this is real tricky terrain that we're going now. Pumping it. Pink eggs. Oh, yeah, what the f***? That's weird. Oh. oh. That was a bad one, we're stuck again. Oh, oh. Fucking hell. Oh. My life flashed before my eyes, so I was going to about to get clotheslined by a kayaking paddle. Your paddle's the wrong way around, by the way. Cap and cap. You know what, there, there was a point where we were going through that, those mangroves at the start that I was thinking, this is But it's well worth getting through that difficult bit just to cruise through here. It's very nice through here, isn't it? Gracious as always. Yes. Hold on. I can't because it's cold and my shorts are see-through. <laughs> I would recommend that to anyone, that was good fun. Except I've lost that now. Oh. Walking on that is not fun though. Tankiri 
National Park. I'll write it on the screen because I, I don't know how to say it, man. Uh, it's, it doesn't seem to be too expensive to get in. I think it's about 50 baht per person. But uh, yeah, it's just a nice little park. Apparently they've got food here too and I'm starving, mate. That's a uh, hard work out there kayaking. <laughs> Reasonable. This costs 80 baht. Chicken, curry, right. 70. 140 oh, yeah, for both one. of us. Oh, okay, sweet. Very spicy. I say, as a tip, if you don't want spicy food, don't, if you're not in a tourist area, don't even tell them to put a little bit in because that was mad spicy still. These two lollies, 30, 30 baht. It's well good. We decided to take shelter in here, wait for it to pass. I say shelter, it's not really shelter, is it? It's just not as bad as being out there. Got right on the bike in a minute. Pretty useless bit of information for most people, but I just got a little haircut out here. It was 200 baht. Somebody might find it. Somebody might be intrigued and think, oh, how much is it going to cost me to get my haircut when I'm in and, Thailand? And how much it costs to get fringe. <laughs> Bang out of order, mate. Uh, we just got to go and find somewhere for food now. Oh, should we just go with Dina Mums? Maybe. For a laugh. Nat's mum's, Nat's mum's boyfriend's called Dean, so it's Dina Mum. <laughs> Pretty funny. Oh, hi Steph. Oh no, not boyfriend. Fiance. Come on out, in you go. Let's see if it's any better than uh, mum's. <laughs> right, I haven't taste tested yet, but portions look a little on the small side, I would say. Yours looks alright. Yeah, mine's a huge Mine's, mine's smaller. Now the taste is actually really nice, but it's just a shame about the portion sizes. It's definitely nowhere near as good as yours, Steph. Isn't that right, Natalia? Yours is much better, Mum. Miss your cooking. So do I, actually. <laughs> right, that concludes our time here in Krabby. It's actually been really f***ing good. I've loved it here. I'd, I'd recommend anyone to come here. Uh, we've now got to start on a 15 and a half hour journey to uh, Bangkok.